Hello people, welcome all the way up there. Uh, I was thinking that normally you find yourself down on the floor. So I thought I would make you feel tall today. Um, and it's Pauline, Hi. of course. Uh, my name's Kieran, if you're new here. I'm a landscape photographer. And uh, at the moment we're on the west coast of Scotland. That is where we're based, near Fort William. So you'll find lots of locations around the Lockerbie area. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. And tonight, I might look a little bit smug. Might look a little bit smug. And that is because I have found a composition by driving past that looks very promising. Very, very promising. And you might be able to see in the background just over there, there is a castle on an island. And that castle is called Castle Stalker. Yes, very photographed location. But I'm thinking I've got something a little bit unique. So stay tuned, stay tuned. It's going to be a good one tonight, isn't it, Polly? Mm -hmm. She agrees. Looking she nodded. There is one thing that I wished I'd done though, and that was make sure that my drone was all paired with my new phone because it's going to be one of the nights where a bit of drone footage would look lovely, wouldn't it? A little bit. And this is my pilot. After you. The gentleman. It's all for the camera. I'm saying nothing, bro. Oh, thank you very much. What a gentleman. So this is my shot right here. I have got this beautiful section of river leading out into the castle. This scene looks like a painting. It looks like a painting. There are elements though that don't necessarily work too well. And that is a shame that this section, I'm not sure if I'm pointing at the right section, that section right there, you can't see the water. You've got this section of water here, you've got that section of water there, and you've got that section of water over there, but it's not linked. Now, if I could be a little bit higher up, then I would get that. But then I have this guy, and that guy, and that guy over there. And then their friends come in between them, which don't help build the image. Probably could be taken out, but then I would have to do lots of photoshopping and, and this castle would probably end up with a line going across it and then cloning and stuff to get rid of it, which is a nightmare. But I think coming here works quite nicely. And I've got all these fence posts, which I think add to the scene. Now picture this, a misty morning down here, morning light, the sun's up, but it's coming through the mist and it's still tranquil, but with mist and the castle. And you can see the castle coming through the mist. Now imagine that. I think I might have to come back another time on a misty morning, but for right now, this looks pretty sick, to be honest. Sick in a good way, not unwell. Terrible joke. Sorry, Pauline gave me the nod. That was a bad joke. Apologies. So I've got the scene all set up and I've decided to go into landscape. Yep, super unusual, I know. But I've got this beautiful little section of river coming in this way, sweeping through, coming this way. And the reason why I moved across here was because this little section here was off to this side over here. So it wasn't balanced. By moving over here, I've got the equal amount here, a slightly smaller amount there coming around into the castle that I've centralized. 
the light right now is beautiful absolutely beautiful and the way i'm going to capture this image is wow the midges are coming the way i'm going to capture this image is i'm going to capture the shadows coming across this little bit of land just here and then i'm going to expose for the castle expose for the mountains in the background and then drop that exposure quite aggressively to really start to get that detail in the sky there is another thing that would make this image even better and that is if i had something to help balance this tree out here to create another little bit of something here just to make that frame for that image but i think because i've got the water coming in this side and the tree on this side maybe they work together balancing each other out but other than anything else it's a beautiful scene one that i will come back for especially in winter in mist oh. right let's get this shot okay so i've gone back into camera mode now and the scene is beautiful um, i've left it very dark in that immediate foreground i might raise the exposure a little bit but then dodging and burn so the immediate foreground is darker leading the eye into that light capturing my first image now iso 64 f11 one tenth of a second and that looks incredible i'm going to lower that exposure now because there's a lot flashing up on my screen here saying that it's overexposed and i don't want to lose information in them bright bits so i'm going to lower that exposure i'm going to go to 125 of a second f11 keeping that nice depth of field iso 64 and there i've started to i've got a little bit clipped but again i'm going to lower that exposure again for the sky i don't want to lower it too much because there's going to be light on the scene there's going to be light on the castle it's obvious that it's not dark so if i've got this really underexposed sky with a really nice exposed foreground it doesn't look right it looks odd so I'm going to go for the right there where I've got a little bit of a hot part off to the left, which indicates where that light's coming from. So I'm telling that story of the scene where the light's coming from and creating, hopefully, a full image. But stunning. Now, I think we're going to have a little walk further along and see what else we can find. Gently. Look at this scene just here. Absolutely beautiful. So still, so tranquil, and it's starting to get late enough on in the season that we're not 100% swarmed by midges. Oh, now, now he's jinxed us. Now he's jinxed us again. We're at high tide and the moon was full just a couple of days ago. So this water level's at the highest point that it can be. So normally where there's nice little walkways, you've got to be careful. But look at this little scene we have here. We've got grass lit up. We have got a mountain right above the castle. The walkway is at an unfortunate height. It's cutting off the bottom of the castle. But what I do really like about this scene is the way that the walkway has got light coming right across it. It just looks beautiful. And then reflections, So I've got a beautiful section of grass right down in the immediate foreground. And my initial thought was F11, front to back, nice and sharp. But I'm not gonna do that in this shot. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to F4. I've focused on the castle. So that's the bit that's gonna be nice and sharp. Everything else should be subtly soft. 
And that's what I'm going for, subtly soft. And we think we've just walked through a nest of ticks, which is going to be really fun later on picking them all off. But this shot, beautiful. I have noticed one thing though, and uh, I'm going to take this shot in the Warner. So I'm looking at my histogram. Now, if you notice what I've noticed about this image, leave a comment below. But there it is up on screen. All right, we're going to get out the ticks. I think I found a miniature version of what I had before, just over there. But for this scene, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my tripod low. And I'm going to use that light that's coming across and covering this grass just before it drops behind that mountain. I'm thinking something as low as that, just where the tips of the mountains popping out. This is looking like an absolute beauty of a shot. At the moment I've got this beautiful side light hitting the castle and I've got this beautiful light across the grass. Just everything about this scene is beautiful. So again I'm going to leave this aperture a little bit wider because the foreground will make a nice golden colour. The subject Hopefully will be nice and sharp and the background should be beautiful. I'm going to raise the exposure slightly so that I've got more detail in them shadows and more light hitting that grass. I'm going to capture the first image, F5, ISO 64 on 1 40th of a second. And that looks beautiful. Then I'm going to drop that exposure for the mountains in the background. I want them to look dark and dramatic and moody. And then one more time for that sky. The sun's getting lower, so that means that I can drop that exposure even more and make it a little bit darker. And the midges are now out. It must have been a bit too warm for them. I've captured my three images. This is a beautiful location and I will be back for sure. But I think for tonight's video, I'm going to say a big thank you to Pauline for handling being attacked by midges and uh, ticks. This location is one that I have to come back to. It is a beauty. And the fact that we could get mist here with these reflections and morning light coming from over there coming straight across the whole thing just makes it even better and totally worth that cold winter's morning. But that is going to be all from me this week. I hope you've had a great time. If you have enjoyed it, be sure to leave me a thumbs up, maybe even subscribe. If nothing else, let me know what you thought of it. Anyway, have a lovely week. Peace happy.